Hey guys, what's up? It's Raven. I just got done doing some last minute Christmas shopping. <laughs> Very last minute Christmas shopping. Today is Saturday, December 18th, the weekend before Christmas weekend. And today we are having Raven's second annual, I wanna say, Christmas party at my house. My mom has always like thrown a party for Christmas Eve for several years back. She's always done that and made gumbo for everybody. So that's kind of already been a tradition in our family. But as far as me hosting a Christmas party at my house, I think this is only the second time that we're doing it just because of COVID and everything. We haven't been able to do it like last year, but I did do it for sure one year before and I made a vlog about it. So I will link that vlog in the description box if you guys wanna see the previous Christmas party that I did because that one turned out really well, really fun. And I'm just hoping that this one can compare. But yeah, I did some last minute Christmas shopping because some of the people that are coming to the party, I'm not gonna see them on Christmas, so I need to give them their gifts at the party tonight. If something broke, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Let me be careful. So yeah, I have a lot to do. It's already 2.30 in the afternoon because the stores were crazy. It took me forever to run these errands this morning. And I still have to wrap all these gifts, get myself ready, because I look a mess, and there's still food to make and setting up to do for the party. There's, and I have to get Zaya ready. There's literally so much to do, and I literally only have a few hours to do it. So, <laughs> wish me luck. Okay, so here is all the stuff I got. Multiple gifts for multiple people. I gotta wrap everything. Meanwhile, Chef Tony is in my kitchen <laughs> making all kinds of things. This is icing for decorating gingerbread houses and gingerbread men. And I already set up this stuff last night. Flashback to that. So Chef Tony was in charge of all the menu prep, everything with the food and grocery shopping and everything. So she just brought all this stuff over to my house, all types of stuff, stuff to make punch, stuff for the gumbo, stuff for appetizers and stuff for the gingerbread houses. We got a whole bunch of stuff for like a sweets tray, different cookies and chocolates and stuff. And then starting to break out the chafing things, the food warming trays that I have. These come in super handy for parties. So getting these out, setting them up, and just pulling out all the groceries and ingredients, napkins and plates and bowls, just getting everything out, as well as everything for the gingerbread house decorating contest. That's a big part of this party, and we bought a lot of stuff for that. A lot of stuff. That's actually the first thing that I'm kind of working on right now. I had the idea to pull my table out of my glam room since it's on wheels. Pulled that into here so that we can have another surface because I want to let people sit here and eat their food tomorrow. I don't want to have all the gingerbread stuff in their way. So needed another surface for that. I'm just gonna go ahead and put this red plastic tablecloth. So the plan that I was thinking is to set up all the gingerbread house decorating contest supplies on this table so it's there whenever we get ready to do that at the party. We have these five pre-built gingerbread house kits, but spoiler alert, they're really small. They're smaller than what we expected. So the idea is to have teams of people working on the house and with this little, little tiny house, it's like, not much to work with, so I don't know. I guess we might try to <laughs> replace these with a bigger house because different brands make these and this is a, a different brand. We just didn't realize how small these were. Um, but yeah, five houses as the base. These come with a few candies and some icing, but it's really basic. So that's why we have all these extra candies and sprinkles and icing so that you can really jazz up your house and you know make something cool to try to win the contest basically just need to put all these different candies into cups so that we can pass it out to the teams and then we got these gingerbread men for the little kids to decorate and there's not going to be too too many kids i don't think i think we're going to have extra cookies so it might even be enough for each kid to do two because i also have this other cookie decorating kit that I got from Michael's, which comes with eight small cookies and some candy. So kids will have their own thing to decorate because last year it was a little chaotic 
trying to have the kids, like the little kids do this. So just kind of giving them something smaller to do and they can each do their own so that they're not fighting over it because teamwork is hard when you're little. So I think I'm just gonna go ahead and start putting stuff in cups for the five teams. Okay, so I'm pretty much done laying out all the different ingredients for the gingerbread house contest, but I also wanted to put together little cups of ingredients for the gingerbread men, for the little kids. They need their own little separate cup so they can decorate their cookies. So I'm using this tray for that and some more of the same little cups and just using the leftover candies and sprinkles and stuff to make little individual cups for them. I feel like for little kids, major key is that, like I said, each one gets their own cookie to decorate. Each one gets their own cups of stuff so that they're not like fighting over stuff or trying to share because, you know, like I said, sharing is hard for little kids. So I'm just gonna make a bunch of little cups that way each kid can have their own. So I finished this tray for the gingerbread men, for the kids, and then I also cleared off my gingerbread neighborhood tablescape and I moved it back here on this window ledge because I just felt like having it on the table with everybody here and trying to eat and trying to whatever, like it was probably gonna get destroyed and it was probably just gonna be in the way. So I just moved it here for the party. And actually this whole house fell apart and I had to hot glue it back together, but we're not gonna be eating it. So hot glue was the easiest way and I, I mean, it worked. So yeah, that's prepped. This is prepped and everything else is kind of just laid out for tomorrow. And that's all we're really gonna do tonight. So tomorrow we'll actually start, well, my mom will actually start cooking the food and I will finish setting everything else up for the party. So yeah, there's that whole setup. And then we did get bigger gingerbread houses, a little bit bigger, a little bit better gingerbread house kit. So that's good. So this is all ready to go. The Cookie station tray is ready to go. Icing is in progress. Gumbo is in progress. Got the big mama pot. Rice will be made, of course, to go with the gumbo. T minus three hours to go from this to party mode. Okay, so like I said, I bought a lot of gifts for a lot of different people, but I wanna show you guys some of the highlights that I'm excited about. So for my older sister, Ashley, I got her a white KitchenAid stand mixer, like a real one. But for her daughter, Bella, I got her a play white KitchenAid mixer. So they're gonna have matching mixers for Christmas, which I just think is really cute. I randomly came across this and it was the perfect thing because also my mom is getting Bella a play kitchen. So this will go along with the play kitchen and all her um, other stuff that she's already getting. So I just thought that was really cute. Real one for the mom, toy one for the baby. Then Age's dog is named Merlot. And look at this dog toy that I found. Bougie, what is on your head? I got some other really, I mean, all the stuff that I got is cute, but I think those were the main things that I thought were super clever, proud of myself. Oh, and then we're doing white elephant at the Christmas party tonight. So this is my white elephant gift. It's a karaoke machine, it comes with a microphone and everything. Thought that was pretty cool, fun for all ages. So that's my white elephant. Um, I actually don't know how white elephant works, but I have my gift. Okay, that took a hot minute, but I'm done wrapping all the presents that I'm gonna need for tonight. This one is my white elephant. I'm going to put it under this tree and then the other real presents that I'm giving to my friends and family tonight, I'm gonna put them under the big tree. And hopefully I remember to pass them out before everybody leaves. Okay, final update on the gingerbread house table situation. We officially have 50 items to choose from from a cup of pretzels to a cup of Cheez-Its to a whole thing of different kinds of sprinkles, 
this is one item, this is one item, this is one item, all these cups are one item. And then the icings, the custom colored icings by Chef Tony. Wow, she did such a good job mixing up all the different colors. So each cup counts as one item. Each cup has a few different colors of icing in it. So 50 total, five teams. Each team gets 10 individual items to decorate their house. And we have all types of different stuff, so we're gonna get all types of different funky house designs. So I'm really excited. Hopefully nobody messes up my setup before we get to this point in the party. <laughs> Update on how the food prep is going. We've got pigs in a blanket. We've got like a charcuterie situation being made over here. Different, you know, crackers and pretzels and whatnot. Is this the roux? for the gumbo, I think. The other part of the gumbo in here. We've got punch halfway mixed up in my beautiful Christmas tree punch dispenser. This is from Walmart. Oh, we got a few chicken wings that are gonna be made apparently. We got some individual nut cups. <laughs> Not sure what my mom has planned for this. Sweets table still needs to be put together, but we have a cake with the sweets table, wow, and cupcakes. So I'll probably help arrange this in a minute. Still a lot to cook and set up and set out and I still look a mess. So I am about to go take a shower and at least get myself halfway ready. So then I can come back out and help with the final setup. But I do not wanna be looking like this when people start showing up, it's already 4.15 and we said to come at six, which really means most people are gonna come at like seven, but still, I need to go take a shower. Okay, I just took a shower. I have like 30 minutes to get ready when it normally takes me like two hours to do full wig and makeup and outfit and everything. I gotta put this wig on. I wanna look cute, um, but I have no time, so. <laughs> okay, wig is on. I hate it, but it's on. Outfit is on, I'll show you more of that later. Makeup is not on. Forehead is burnt by the curling iron and people are arriving because it is already 6.15 and I can hear in the living room that some family members have already gotten here and I have no makeup on and I feel ugly and I need to go slap some makeup on and I'm sure my mom probably still needs help with the food, so <laughs> let's go. Oh my God, I am being such a horrible host right now. I am so late. I had to do the quickest natural beat. No lashes, no holiday glam, no nothing. Didn't have time. Oh well, too bad, so sad. Threw on a headband. I have my gingerbread man earrings. I have this festive uh, red sweater with pearls on it. I have my gingerbread lady skirt with sequins, some black tights, and these sparkly boots just because I felt like they were festive. And that is my festive, tacky, ugly sweater type outfit for the night. So like I said, make Makeup had to be the fastest, just whatever thing ever. And yeah, I'm super late. There's so many people here. There's so many people that I haven't seen in forever. People that I wasn't expecting to come that I'm excited to see are here. So I need to just get out there and host because this is my house and I am not even at the party. So let's go. up here what are y'all doing playing. playing hi Nika come on I just want to eat it. Mm. Oh wow, good job. You can eat it if your mommy says you can. Oh yeah. Let me see what you made. Let me see, let me see. Wow. Excuse me, ladies and gentlemen. Excuse me. We are getting ready to start the gingerbread making competition. I need five total teams. I don't know if we need to number you guys off or if you guys can do it yourself, but we have five total teams. 
We need five teams. Five teams. So y'all team up. Team up. Okay, wait. What's the paper? We're not the team. We're not too bad. We have to sit on the bench. And then we need a senior team, I guess. <laughs> okay, what number did you get? Number three? Okay. Excuse me, who's Over team there. one? Team one. Come on up. Each team is going to be 10 items. 10 items off of this table. I just want everyone to remember that we're the reigning champ. Yes. Uh, Don't forget, we've won this once before. And y'all have the we're advantage. Or anything. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. So unfortunately, since you picked number 5, y'all are last, which means y'all don't get to pick your decorations, you get the leftovers. But we get to be creative. So you're going to have to just pull out your creativity. Okay, okay, we can do that. Anyway, this was rigged. And it's all you get, no more, no less. Good luck. Time starts now. Fifteen minutes on the clock. Can we steal the key shit? Yeah. <laughs> oh, y'all, wait a minute. I, didn't, I just registered what you said. What? What y'all doing over here? Are you creating Cheating. That's cheating. Hey, y'all gonna get disqualified. Hey, we were the last. We used what we got. Look, look. I'm not gonna say nothing because I like y'all. <laughs> oh, interesting techniques going on over here. Are you helping Allison? <laughs> what's the theme? What's the color scheme? What's the concept? But we're, we're going for it. We're, we're, we're just kind of, we're kind of just letting it happen. You know what I'm saying? In art, sometimes you can't really have a destination in mind. It's just the journey. You know, that's what we're doing right now. We're just traveling. We're going down the road, having a good time. You know, seeing where the road takes us. See, y'all are cheating because y'all have a trained architect. <laughs> oh, wow. Team five is actually <laughs> looking up. Actually, you didn't have faith in us. Uh, <laughs> she did it. I mean, <laughs> with our limited resources. Last year's champions looking good over here. Oh, wow. Okay, some tough competition. Time's up, time's up. Hands up. Bring it over here so we can line them up. Wow. Careful, careful, careful. Watch out. Watch out, bro. Coming through. Team one. So, this is, we have occupants already. Functional windows. So vote for us because we, yes, it's ready to go. Move in ready. Move in ready. There you go. Thank you for that. Team two. Team two. Team two. Ours is the blue architect. We've got the beautiful blue scaffolding. We've got the arched entryway with wow. the snowflake boussoirs. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Just one very classic, very monochromatic blue. Beautiful. Thank you so much. Team three, team three, presentation. This was originally a gumdrop peppermint palace, and things turned dark after a zombie apocalypse. And so what you see here is, you know, they had to put some barricades here for the pocky sticks, and you see some of the zombie guts around there, and uh, that's what's going on right there. So. Team four, team four, I'm so glad you guys get to explain. Team four, team four, thank you for that. All right, for those of you that don't know, this is a trap house. <laughs> Two chains, that's his, you know, place where people go to Atlanta to see hip hop, and actually, go ahead and hit up my song real quick. Oh, oh, really? oh is that a song? I don't know if you know what this song is, but um, this whole night is a vibe. That's what this song is. <laughs> <laughs> That's the artist. Uh, you see what you did there. Hopefully, yeah. everybody comes to visit. If y'all haven't already, and thank you. Thank you for that. Thank you. Team five. Team five. Okay, we don't have any music. Oh Lord. Okay, we're children. Okay, we don't have any music, but ours is the Ginger Beach House. This is our personalized tree. We have candy cane trimming. Okay. What else we have? We have a beach snowman version. And we were very resourceful. <laughs> <laughs> we are five. Again, you have one vote. One vote per team. Do you want to just, 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 okay. just one vote? You so can vote just, for yourself. Absolutely. You can vote for yourself. Yes. Absolutely. So just drop your candy in the bowl that you want to vote for. Oh, I am. I'm not sure. Go ahead. 
I don't know which one to vote for. I'm voting for the trap house. Okay, look at all the houses. Okay, Zaya, which one do you think is the best? You like this one? Yeah. Okay, give me your. Okay, so we're gonna put it in here. Zaya is doing the one that looks the coolest. Third place are the Trap House and the Zombie Apocalypse. Yeah. Second place, we have the Beach House. Woo! Second place! Grand prize winner. Grand prize winner is. What is this called again? Monochromatic. Monochromatic Christmas. Tiffany's Christmas. Tiffany's Christmas. Yeah. First Winner, Tiffany's Christmas. Don't disperse, there is a cash prize. Who is on the team? Yay! Okay, so we also have a prize for best dress. We've had the, the best dress people line up over here, and we're gonna vote based off of these people. Who's gonna win the cash prize for best Christmas outfit? When the presenter raise their hand over the top of the costume, we will judge based off of applause. Um, the end all be all will be you. Okay, okay. yeah. Okay, end all be sure. all be you. <laughs> so. Couple number one. Okay, so now we are starting the white elephant. Everyone is picking a number. In this game, you want to get a big number. And you'll see why. So she got five. Why are we like that? Four? 19. Why though that said 61? I was like, that's So these are all the white elephant gifts that everybody brought. We're moving them over to where people can see, I guess. So here's all the white elephant options. Gotta make sure you can't see what's in there. The rules are. The rules are. The one who has number one. The one who has number one. Gets to go first. Gets to go first. I can pick any of these lovely gifts. Pick whatever you want up here. Oh no. Slow down, my brother. Slow down. When you pick the gift, you, pick the gift, you gotta open it. And then everybody needs to look at it. Everybody gets to look at the gift. The second person, number two, or the next person behind it. Can either. Can either. Take his gift. Take that brother's gift. Or pick a new gift. Or pick a new gift. If, if that person chooses to take that gift, that gift is considered stolen. Okay. We have a three limit steal. Three limit steal of one gift. Has been stolen three times, it's dead. Done. Cam is number one. What'd you get? <laughs> a, a elf headband and a hat. And a hat, that's cool. Cute, cute. <laughs> Chef Tony is number two. Okay, what is it? <laughs> what is it? It's called snakes. It's called snakes. It's a game called snakes. <laughs> oh, a wireless massager. Cinco de Drinko. <laughs> oh, what's that? A spice rack. Okay. You're not gonna steal anything, Maya. Nobody has stolen yet. It, we gotta make it interesting. Don't think about it. That spice rack looks kind of good. I just. So you get a new one, right? 
<laughs> so now he got massaging booty. Oh, more things. Ooh. A neck massager, Dr. Teal's. Somebody gonna steal that. 13. Okay, okay. What is it? A desktop phone mount. A desktop phone mount. Interesting. Okay. <laughs> yeah. 14. Which one do you want? A big one. Yes, that one? Okay. You need, let's open it. Open it up. I think it's not bad. Oh. It's a game. Uh oh. It's a game called New Phone Who Dis. Oh. oh wow. Okay, can you hold it and bring it to your mommy? Good job. Karaoke. <laughs> this is my gift. <laughs> Karaoke machine. Okay, 19 is us. We can steal somebody's present who already has it open, or we can pick a new one. They have a karaoke machine, they have a spice rack, <laughs> massage yeah, booties, a hat, or should we just pick a present to open? Pick a present. Okay, we're gonna open a new one. I kinda want the karaoke machine though. No? Okay. <laughs> this one? <laughs> oh, in an Amazon box. A little portable speaker. Oh, wow. Uh, Not excited. <laughs> 20. All right, you're man, next. Pick one. Pick one. All right, open it. Wow. wow. It's just like, what am I supposed to do with it? Love Soap it. and oh. lotion. So she has to choose again, and this time, oh that's cute, it's a little mini arcade game. That's cute. Another steal! Oh man! Aw, oh, shucks. And he stole her liquor! Are you allowed to do that? I gotta get another one. Can you get, can you take it? Oh, yeah. Okay. It's real good. Right. What is it? <laughs> Got some little uh, another liquor bottle. Prosecco. And then a, a game. And a game. So you still got a bottle. What are you gonna get? The boots. You're gonna take his boots. No. <laughs> She's like, please take it. The tequila's getting stolen again. No, she tied it. She got her tequila bag. Yay! Uh, it's a lot of uh, sneakiness going on. No, I think that was the third time. Yeah, that was three. You can't get it. It's off limits. Oh, he's taking the karaoke machine. A portable speaker, maybe? A little speaker. I was able to pawn off my speaker. But I don't know, I might regret it because I thought the karaoke machine was still up for grabs and it's not. We have massage booties, spice rack. A phone mount. <laughs> Some soap. Vegetable soap. <laughs> Handmade. Lavender. Lavender. I guess I'll pick a new gift. I'm gonna pick a new. Oh, another Star Wars. Oh, wow. Star Wars gift set. Kids are cup and socks and white cheddar popcorn. Awesome. Wow. Just what you wanted. <laughs> 
Oh, a nice glitter mask. Okay. okay. And hand sanitizer. <laughs> Someone with full COVID kit. Oh, okay, COVID kit. It's full a COVID, COVID kit. kit. Hey, hey, now, Mario, I'm not gonna get me. <laughs> What'd you get? What'd you get? What'd you get? That's how you work it. That's how you work it. Karaoke machine. What'd you get? What'd you get? What'd you get? What'd you get? Oh, y'all got a good one. What'd you get? What'd you get? What'd you get? Ooh, good prizes over here. Good prizes. Good prizes. <laughs> All of the family, family friendly guests have left and we're just left with the turn up crew. Say hi turn up crew. And we are kicking things off with a shot. Cheers! Taboo. I'm going first. This is my favorite game. Here we go. I'm ready. Ready. If I want to get an alcoholic drink, I'm going to go to the uh, liquor store. In the place of worship, Church. you're going to sing a. If the street is not available, you have to take a. Because of COVID, we had to do all of our meetings on Zoom. The person who sanitizes. The Dancer. on Instagram, you post, 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 scroll, filter, catfish. I bought a lot of things on this day. Uh, Black Friday. Friday. Can you turn around the lights up? up. The the music. music. Volume. Volume. Time. 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 Good job, it. Good job, Jabril. Oh, this is something if you're peeping Tom. Binoculars. Binoculars. Oh, yeah. When you're a little kid, you just want to play. 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 What's something that's unique in the alphabet? Pie. 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 What's the game? Pie. 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 Light bulb. Oh, that's good. Uh, there's someone who created the light bulb. Uh, oh, I'm Edison. Edison. Uh, who created oh, the thing? Very, very frank. Uh, yes. very frank. Uh, yes. uh, Whenever you go to jail, they take you in. A uh, long shot. Oh, 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 on your arms. Oh, 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 <laughs> okay, it's type of bread. French. Brio. Oh, yeah. oh, it's a Peter. Right. But it can also Sour be dough. used for your behind, like a word in your behind. Buns. Buns. Okay, y'all, so Christmas party was a success. Everyone said that they loved my decorations. Everyone said that Chef Tony's food was amazing. I got to see people that I haven't seen in forever. I would highly recommend a gingerbread house decorating contest. If you ever throw a Christmas party, gingerbread cookie decorating for the kids. Those two things were a big hit. The white elephant was fun, a little confusing, but it got fun when it got competitive and people started stealing gifts and stuff like that. I think, I think people had fun with that. But yeah, it was fun all in all, but I needed to come back on camera and give y'all an update because it is literally, literally 5.25 a.m. Not me waking up the next day, I've been up this whole time. I didn't vlog anything that just happened because it was just too much going on, but let me just quickly recap because I gotta tell y'all about this. So, like I said in the other clip, all the older people and the little kids left probably around, I don't know, by like 10 p.m. A lot of people had left and it was just like my friends, the turn up crew. So we were drinking, taking shots, playing games up until about 2 a.m. Everyone was getting tired. Everyone was like, okay, we're ready to go. So everyone was gonna leave at like 2 a.m. That's when I realized that I hadn't seen Bougie and he was supposed to be locked up in the laundry room like he always is. I go check, he's not in there. Immediately I'm like, oh no, not again. Because if you are a someone who watches my vlogs, you know that this has happened before. I check the whole entire house. Before I say anything to anyone, I just go and I check the whole entire house. People are still here, they're getting ready to leave. I looked up and down 
under all the furniture, in all the closets, in all the cabinets. I looked everywhere and I know my cat and I know his hiding spots anyway. Can't find him. Then I start kind of panicking. Then I tell my friends. So there was still like seven of us. So we all spread out and checked the whole house. Again, everyone's looking high and low. He's not in here. Like I'm shaking his treat jar because he always comes for this sound no matter what. I'm shaking the sheets all around the house, calling him, everybody's looking. He is nowhere to be found. We're like, he is not in this house. He must have accidentally got let out because people were coming in and out. People were opening the laundry room door apparently, going in and out of the laundry room for whatever reason. And so it was just obvious that there was a lot of opportunity throughout the night for him to run out the house and of course i'm very preoccupied and i'm not noticing and not everybody at the party knows that i have a cat to watch out for he could have ran out at like 6 p.m now it's 2 a.m who knows how long he's been outside who knows how far he has gone and long story short my friends were so nice to help me look for him outside. Well, first we searched the house high and low. He was not in here. Then we got in the car and drove around the block looking for him. That didn't work. He's a cat. And it's also freezing outside, literally 35 degrees outside. And I'm like, if he's out here, like he's gonna be hiding under something Like we're not gonna be able to see him from the car. So then my friends, again, they're so nice. We went walking around and we literally, everybody came in my closet and got bundled up. They took out all my like fluffy coats, like took out literally all my jackets. I passed out jackets to all my friends. So just imagine us in our like Christmas outfits. Look how I look. I literally just threw sweatpants under my skirt with my tights underneath, had this on, put a jacket on, put my Crocs on. Like what the heck am I wearing? And that's like how we all looked just trying to, and then we got blankets and I put blankets on on top. So we're all bundled up like this and we go out as a group. It's literally 3 a.m. at this point and we're walking my neighborhood and I'm shaking the tree jar. Everybody's like splitting up. I'll look on this side, you look on this. Look underneath the cars, look underneath the bushes. We're having to like creep up around people's houses. It's 3 a.m. and it's a group of young black people creeping around people's houses. Luckily, no, nothing bad happened, but we looked for a long time. It was like almost 4 a.m. by the time I just was like, okay, y'all, it's so cold out here. It's cold and it's windy. He's gonna be in a really like tight hiding spot. I don't think we're gonna be able to see him like even on foot looking around, like we, we won't be able to see him. Like cats are really good at hiding. Let's just go back inside. I set traps for him. I learned from the last time that he did this to put his litter box outside so he can smell himself and come back. I'm like, let's just go home and like, I just wanna keep watch at home. I don't think trying to search for him is gonna work. It's literally middle of the night. It's dark outside, it's freezing cold. So we come home and they end up staying and waiting with me for another, like it was like around 4 a.m. already by the time we did that and we stayed in the living room kind of keeping watch and i had my like cameras on my phone so like we're able to see both areas they stayed here and like kept me company while i kept watch up until 5 a.m derica daisha whitney courtney missy age ben like all those main people they stayed with me they they went out in the cold searching for my cat and then they stayed with me, stayed up until 5 a.m. and kept watch until finally everyone was just like, well, it's super late, like we have to go. And so they left, like I said, around 5 a.m. Soon as they, soon as everyone went out the door, literally as soon as like the door was closed and the house got completely quiet, I'm like, you're joking. And I go and I listen and I can't hear where it's coming from at first. And it's like, come, is it coming from upstairs? Is it coming from, I hear that it's like coming from my glam room. I go and I look, he comes out of the glam room closet, which we searched high and low. Multiple people searched and double checked and searched again. He was not, he was not anywhere in this house. Like, I don't know where he was hiding, but he just came creeping out the glam room closet. Whole time he was in the house, he was in the closet. I don't know. 
of course it was a huge relief because i was starting to get the main thing that was worrying me is the weather because it is literally freezing cold and it was like supposed to start yeah it's like drizzling now so i'm like it's literally freezing outside and then freezing rain and he's just out there he's not an outdoor cat so that's what was making me really worried and really sad but i was like bougie really my poor friends stayed up until 5 a.m and searched for you in the freezing cold just for you to be in the house the whole time just for you to be in the house the whole time i'm happy because i was really sad and really scared but like bruh now it's 5 30 in the morning everybody just left i'm just now like debriefing and bougie is safe and sound and yeah so that's how the christmas party ended <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed that little story time. Moral of the story for me is if I'm ever looking for Bougie and I can't find him, I have to make everybody leave the house and let the house get completely quiet and just listen. That's what I'm gonna do next time. But yeah, that's it for this vlog. Hope you guys enjoyed. My house is a mess. I am in shambles, I am tired, and I will see you guys in the next one. <laughs>